Hey everybody, it's old folks here. I wanted to do a video on the Alliance War. For those of you that are not familiar with it, the Alliance War is right here. In the Alliance building, you click on it. And then you'll have three lanes. Now, obviously, the troop numbers you see here for us won't stay the same because we'll actually modify uh, where we want our troops to go uh, before it's time. But usually your alliance leader will tell you, hey, I want it in top and middle, bottom and top, top and bottom. Or they say, just put them somewhere and they'll take care of it. Now, one of the things to see is how many of your members have actually taken place, taken part, put troops in. Um, helps us as the leaders to say, I can click on this and show people not in battle. And I can send out a reminder and say, hey, come on, people, put your troops in. And just like that, now they'll get an email which uh, helps them to do that. One of the things to think about is you're going to match up with another team. Now, you can click on the team that you're going to face. You can see the troop levels that they're going to have. You can see how many members that they have. So you can kind of tell, you know, what you're going to face and determine what lanes you're going to pick. Um, you have a wager option here. The wager option shows you basically the choices between, you know, who's going to win. I think we're going to win. Um, but sometimes you're like, I'm not really sure. So you can click on this tab here. Again, it shows you the number of members and their levels. You can do the same thing here. Obviously, they've got 55. Their levels are not as great. Uh, I know they're going to win. I know they're going to win. And, and you kind of go from there. Um, 44, 60, 65. I'm going to go Frozen Griffin. I think Scalper's going to win this one. Yeah, Scalibur's going to win this one. I'm not too sure on these guys. Not too sure. I want to say... Yeah, I want to say these guys. And once you've done that, then you can choose how much you want to wager. You can do this up to three times. Um, so this is the first, second, and third. Once you click your confirm, it is locked in. You cannot change it. And if you're correct, you'll get points. Um, you can look at wager ranks. It tells you how good you're doing. I always forget to, to wager. I really do. It's sad. <laughs> but there's a chance. Free gold or <coughs> free essence. It's really your choice. I just I always forget to do it. It's really great because of the rewards and everything that you can get. Um, you can look at the different ranks that you have. And so you'll see that you know we split as a guild. Or an alliance, whatever you want to call it, 13 million plus 84k, plus we all get plus 14 to our tech, and then we also get a high ruler crown. I've got three, I haven't used them. Um, there's two different brackets there is the gold bracket and the silver bracket. If you win the gold bracket, that's what you get. If you win the silver bracket, this is what you get. And then, of course, this is the wager ranking here. Um, it's a great thing to get before Throne Wars because you get the bonuses to your tech. Um, and a lot of people don't take part in it, and it's really a sad thing because uh, if your alliance goes farther because you do take place in it, you do take part in it, you get more rewards, which helps you out. So always make sure that you take part in it. Always make sure that you have fun in it. Um, don't take it too seriously. Some, some alliances do. You know, they're really, you know, we're going to beat you if you don't. You know, just take part in it. Be active in your guild. So... Alliance War, it's a great thing. Make sure you're doing it. Um, it cycles through uh, pretty regularly. I think it's like once every week or so. But um, just make sure you're taking part. If you got any questions on it, comments. Um, oh, I want to say one other thing before I forget. Your team. So you can edit your teams just like anything else. I really haven't edited mine in a while, and I, and I really should. You can adjust your teams. Um, when you actually do the fights, what happens is it starts with your... Uh, bottom team you can defeat up to five troops um and maybe i'll do a video tomorrow on that before it disappears but you can defeat up to five of your enemy with your one team and then that team's retired so that one team cannot defeat everybody if it was that powerful it also bases people off of levels first so if they've got a level 69 and i've got a level 69 they're going to go at it they're not going to put me against the level 69, so it's going to go six, you know, whatever the lowest levels are against each other, and then slowly work themselves through that. And so eventually, if if you know, there was only 27 of us here, and they had 60 people here, and we were defeating them, but eventually they got to me, and their next guy was level 74, and I'm 81. 
well then I'm going to go against a level 74 at my 81. So, but it always goes down as much possible by levels. Um, if you got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. I'll gladly answer them. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great Thursday.